welcome to Mo's RC. Uh, I'd like to talk about uh, drive shafts today. So in this video, I thought that uh, you know again it's something that I've not seen many people talk about online. Talk about uh, buying um, aftermarket drive shafts for TRX4 and TRX4 Sport. Um, I just thought I'd share my experiences with that and uh, why I've gone back to using the sort of stock um, drive shafts. So what I mean by drive shafts, as you can see on here on the stock drive shafts, these have been in there. Uh, on this sport for a fair while since new uh, and you can notice there's a lot of pitting there's a lot of uh, damage uh, caused by debris and stuff getting stuck in there stones little rocks and things like that and as that's spinning it turns it all up now that's a plastic cover that's like a shield um, but it's got the UJ universal joint underneath it so that's not an issue and these are all plastic you know there's a there's metal elements to them in the universe universal joints but there's probably plastic uh, plastic drive shafts same front and rear the only difference between TRX4 Sport and the 4 is the, the length of the drive shaft. So, you know, they've got elements of the short and long uh, in between the two. Um, I originally did move from uh, from the stock drive shaft to some, some Chinese stuff, like most people do. You go online, have a look at what's available. And I bought these. So, these are a steel uh, drive shaft um, for, for TRX4 RC. Yeah. It comes with both front and rear, all steel, and little tiny uh, IP screws there. This is the one that I took off my TRX4 Sport because I've had nothing but issues with it, as you can see, it's in pieces. So, uh, I've had another drive shaft before that's, that was on there for about a year and a half, nearly two years, uh, and with the upgraded motor, it was absolutely fine until one day it just sheared off. So, I went to the sort of next best, cheapest thing, which was, <laughs> which was this. I wish I hadn't now. So this one's quite unusual in the fact that it's got little locking collars. So on these collars, if you can imagine that is that is in there, uh, and the pins slid through. Obviously the pin will just move. You can see that it all drops out. The only thing holding that pin in is this locking collar, um, and it just pushes over a little uh, little ring, a little uh, a little low ring. But I found out on this, the reason why this is taped is because. Whilst I was out, you see it took a bit of damage. It clipped something as it was spinning around. That popped off and then I lost the pin. And I was on the beach, do a lot of work on the beach. These cars spend most of their time on the beach near us. Uh, the pin came out and therefore, poof, dropped the drive shaft off. And once that's off, that just slides out. And you've got to go and try and find both of them. Luckily, it was on some uh, some, some crawling over, over some rocks, which I'll put some pictures on. So if, you, if you've not been to, uh, the beach to do any crawling. Some beaches obviously quite sandy. Uh, the beach we normally go to is sort of a mix between sandy and uh, sort of hard rock. Um, the, the beach we were at, uh, particularly this weekend, was Red Wharf Bay. If you've not been there, if you're an Andrew River fan, I, uh, I fully recommend going there to see where it was all where it all began. But also in the fact that it's got some great crawling uh, crawling spots there. Uh, it's got some heavily rocked areas uh, nearest the sort of uh, car park area there, and it's fantastic. So I'll put some pictures up after this. Uh, and some videos of me son doing that uh, uh, calling with both the TRX4 and the TRX4 Sport so you can see what that's like and, uh, and where we had to, to deal with losing these uh, losing these pins so basically I lost the pin, uh, lost the collar, I had to go and go and find that and then I had to, luckily I could always carry like a little work uh, a work kit with me so I managed to cut uh, a body pin down to the right length to uh, get it uh, get it in there and get it working again but the collar kept kept slipping off, uh, or slipped slipping down so that's why I had to tape it on the other thing I've noticed between the stock uh, drive shafts uh, and these sort of like cheap cheap Chinese things is uh, is these these uh, so these little hex screws here are smaller than the the standard hex screws uh, and then by no no means any more robust. I've had a couple of these come loose because they're so small. Uh, I've had a couple come loose, so I've had to keep tightening them up. I've also ones that keep coming loose again, and again, and again. Uh, I've had a bit of thread lock to it. We should never be adding thread lock to these because they just end up, as I said, we spend a lot of our time on the beach. So a bit of uh, salty sand gets on there and then, uh, you know, you're almost glued in it permanently. So I've had to drill a few of these out to, to go back to uh, to my standard uh, drive shafts. So I will not be using these, uh, not be using these again. I'll stick to the standard ones. The other thing is with the standard ones, I'll go back to there. Uh, with the standard ones, you can see that it's quite easy access. And the pin goes all the way through. Uh, so I don't know if we can if I can show you that. 
Oh, it's got a bit of water in them. You can just see the end of the pin there. So the pin goes all the way through. Uh, whereas these, they only lock. Uh, they, I think it's about a. Well, I tried to work it out in there. It's about, basically about a millimetre or a millimetre and a half into the uh, the centre of the, uh, uh, the, the the shaft there, the sort of locking hole that's in there, which is not a lot. Uh, and my other my other Terex my Terex Four is running a uh, axial upgraded uh, brushless uh, motor and you know uh, a decent ESC that's got that gives it a bit more poke, a bit more a lot more torque. Trying to get them off was just a nightmare. So luckily, I had a small enough drill bit to drill them out. So, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend you think about it seriously. I mean, if you want to go for the look, they do look better. I got uh, red ones because uh, they match the red covers and things there. But if you're not bothered about looks, I really wouldn't bother at all. The standard stuff is far easier to get off, far easier to uh, to, to change or to replace as maintained. It, and the, the price-wise, you can... You, you can find pretty much the this stuff as cheap uh, as uh, as the, the the metal stuff, but and here you're not going to get rust. I obviously had a bit of a corrosion stuff, so you can see the corrosion I have on that. Whereas uh, obviously plastic isn't going to rust. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. So uh, if you uh, if you like what you see, uh, or you you, know, you like what you hear, please uh, please take a like. Um, any comments or anything to improve or anything you want to hear about next TRX4 wise or TRX4 sport wise please let me know, cheers